Okay, so let's start trying some more Punnett squares as we learn a little bit new vocabulary. So now we're going to take something totally different from what Mendel had done with the flowers, and we're going to look at the actual peas themselves. So most of us go to the store and we buy peas and we know that they're green. Today you're going to understand why that's so simple to get green peas, but believe it or not, there are yellow peas. Green peas happen to be homozygous recessive. In other words, their DNA contains two recessive alleles, lowercase y and lowercase y. Yellow peas, yellow is actually a dominant color for peas. And if a pea plant is yellow, chances are it might be homozygous dominant. In other words, it has two dominant alleles. It could be heterozygous. It could have one dominant and one recessive and still look yellow. So let's take these parents, okay, the green peas, which are homozygous recessive, and the yellow peas, which are homozygous dominant, and we're going to place them onto our Punnett square. Okay, so the genotype for the green peas is homozygous recessive, little y, little y, and for the yellow, it happens to be homozygous dominant, capital Y, capital Y. All right, what would go in this box here? So we have this green pea parent being bred with this yellow pea parent, and the chances of this allele coming in here and this allele coming in here represent 25%. So this box is going to get capital Y, lowercase y. What's this box gonna get? Okay, capital Y, lowercase y. How about this box? Capital Y, lowercase y, and this box, capital Y, lowercase y. So it just happens to be that when you breed green peas with this yellow pea parent who happens to be homozygous dominant, all the offspring come out looking the same. They're all going to be the same combination. Capital Y, lowercase y, capital Y, lowercase y, capital Y, lowercase y, capital Y, lowercase y. Now remember, phenotype means outside appearance. So what color are these going to be? Are they going to be green or yellow peas? Well, since it has the dominant Y, they're going to be yellow. So this is going to be yellow. This combination is going to come out yellow. This combination comes out yellow and this combination comes out yellow. So it just happens to be that they're all the same color on the outside. Remember, genotype is the actual combination of alleles. Okay, that's where we get homozygous dominant, heterozygous, and homozygous recessive. Well, this combination here is one dominant and one recessive. Do you remember what that's called? That's called heterozygous. How about this combination? Also heterozygous. This one, this one, also heterozygous. So in this particular cross, they all happen to have also the same genotype. So we end up with four yellows to zero green seeds. So think about that. If you had peas in your backyard and you planted yellow peas and you cross them with green peas, if they're both true breeding, then all of them are going to come out yellow. When we're comparing the outside appearance, we call that the phenotype ratio. Okay, because we're comparing phenotypes. Now, when we look at the genotype ratio, we're comparing the three genotypes, homozygous dominant to heterozygous to homozygous recessive. Well, if we look back up here, how many of these are homozygous dominant?